Cancers, this is your July love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, Cancers, so let's jump into your reading and let's see what the universe has to say for the month of July. All right, so the first card that you have is the Four of Swords. Oh, all right, so this card wanted to flip out of the deck. The Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles uh, in the Knight of Cups. So maybe you could be dealing with someone who wants to work this out or they say they want to work something out with you. But this person is emotionally unstable with the Knight of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel like you're waiting for this person to put the work in or you're putting a lot of work into the situation, but it's still not making you happy with the Ten of Cups reversed. We also have the Four of Swords here. So I feel like some of you are healing from a situation as well. We have Air Energy here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have Water Energy as well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we have Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with um, someone in that zodiac sign but if not i see with the cups here that's emotions and both cups are in reverse so you feel like you're not getting your um, emotional needs met with this connection with whoever you're dealing with cancers spirit what messages do you have for cancers what messages do you have for cancers okay so you also have the Empress here. So I feel like some of you are moving forward from someone here. You could be pregnant by this person with the Empress card. Also, this is Taurus energy. But there's something that you're building or you're working on. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you wanted to work on this with this person, but you feel like this person is leaving you out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. Or you wanted to work on something with someone, but maybe they don't have the money. Maybe they told you they did, or maybe you guys were supposed to put your money together and make something happen here. Because the Empress is all about making things happen, creation, birthing something. Okay, so this could be a business for some of you. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here. So yeah, see, you're about your business, but somebody that you're dealing with, Cap um, Cancers, is not. It's like they're not about their business. But they see you as being the Queen of Pentacles, like you have your shit together. You may have a nine to five where you work. You may have a business that you have going on as well. And also you may take care of a family. So this person sees all this that you have going on, but something is lacking here with the five of pentacles. And I feel like this is the person that you're dealing with. Now, um, reverse the, in, reverse the um, energy here. Okay, so if it's not you, it could be your person. So keep that in mind. You know your story better than I do. But I see someone here is not coming forward with something. It's like maybe they told you they wanted to do something with you. Or maybe you're supposed to be moving with this person. Or maybe this connection is supposed to be moving forward. But you don't feel like it is because this person keeps lying about what they have going on. Or what they're doing. Or you barely see them. Yeah, five of swords energy here. There's someone here that's like... um. I feel like you barely see this person or you barely talk to them. And then they come around when they want. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're worried. Okay, with the Nine of Swords. You're up in your head about the situation. Wondering, should you stay? Should you leave? The Nine of Swords energy is worry, fear, anxiety. You may be getting tired of dealing with this person. But you're just not ready to leave. But there's something here where you want stability, but you're not getting it with the Four of Wands in reverse. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. You have Ten of Pentacles. You want a family with this person. Or maybe that's what they made you think that you were going to have. And then all of a sudden somebody changed their mind or they just stopped putting in effort. Yeah, being sneaky, Seven of Swords. So this person may have snuck away from this connection or they just stopped calling you or texting you or something. And you don't know what's going on. So we have the Three of Swords is the next card. So you could be heartbroken or sad about the situation with the three of swords i just see a lot of um disappointment also so if you're not sad or heartbroken you're disappointed in this person with the hangman energy something is just not moving forward it's like you can't get something off the ground and so you're tired of waiting 
Wow, yeah, Cancers, with the Six of Pentacles, you feel like there's no equal give and take with this person. They're giving to you and someone else and possibly someone else. And it's like you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but you're asking this person and they're not telling you anything. And your cards are just like flying out of the, the deck here. We have the Queen of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, it could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that keeps promising you that things are going to work and then they change their mind. Or if they don't change their mind, it's like they're not putting forth any effort. So it's like they're not doing anything to make this work. They're just promising you something and they they lack follow through, whoever this is. For some of you, it could be an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Or they're just moving like really slow. And we have the seven of pentacles. So you're reevaluating the situation because you want to know if this is something that you should be putting your effort into or if you should just walk away. Uh, but we have the Ace of Cups here and the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, it is an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person wants a new beginning with you, but it's something that they're not telling you. They're hiding something from you. I feel like this person may not be on your level. Or they feel like they're not on your level or something. But they're not telling you because it's like they're trying to work to get on your level. Yeah. We have the higher, or maybe this person is married. We have the higher fit and the judgment. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's married and they're not telling you they're married. Um, maybe they thought they were going to walk away from someone. But with the Ace of Cups here, I see new love for some of you. So I see that you have a choice between two people. So you may be choosing another person by the end of the month. Or like very, very soon. Yeah, because <laughs> this person is offering you something. But I just feel like you're no longer interested with the Four of Cups. So they're feeling like they're going to have a missed opportunity with you. I don't know if they're going to continue to even try. I mean, if you're going to continue to even let them try. There's something here with third-party energy as well with the Three of Cups at the bottom. All right, so let's see. Uh, okay. Some of you is a Leo with the Sun card here. Or you're just looking for happiness and you feel like this person is not doing it. It's like this person is not bringing you happiness here. Your cards are just flipping all over the place. Yeah, and you don't trust this person with the nine of wands. Um, there's trust issues. You feel like whatever's happening, you feel like you've seen it all before. And you're not sure if you should continue to have a connection with them. Five of Cups energy. So, yeah, it's like the universe is saying if you decide to walk away from the situation that um don't feel bad about it like you know pick yourself up because if you look behind you there is a cup that's being offered and you do have the ace of cups here so i feel like there is new energy coming in for you but for some of you you may just want this particular person and you may be sad that this person is not acting the way you want them to but i mean keep in mind there's 7.8 billion people on the face of the earth i could be wrong about that number it may be more so it's like to stress over one person, the universe is telling you that it really doesn't make sense. Like the way your cards are coming out. I know y'all gonna get in the comments and be like, I, <laughs> like I'm with this one person and this, that, and other. But I mean, if you think about it, like why waste your time on one person if there's someone else that you can be with? And if the universe presents someone else for you, Cancers, then you may realize why this situation did not work out with this other person. Because the next card you have is the tower and the chariot. Okay, so you have some sort of situation that's coming towards you that you don't see, that's out of your control, that the universe may be forcing you to deal with. They may be trying to open your eyes to something and make you see what something really is. Maybe you have rose-colored glasses on when it comes to this person. And we have the chariot. So it's like you know which direction that you want to go in, but you feel like something is fighting against it. Um, I feel like this person, it's just that you guys want two different things right now. And it's like you may want to settle down and commit or something like that. And they, they don't know what they want. Because keep in mind, you did have the Knight of Cups in reverse, which is unstable energy. Someone is extremely emotional about something, but they may not be talking about it. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna, okay, yeah. Somebody is not telling you the truth about something. The Ace of Swords is reversed, and then we have the Two of Swords in the upright. So there's a decision that they need to make. They're stuck at a crossroads here. They have a blindfold on. They're not seeing what they need to see about a situation. And I feel like you're being left in the dark about whatever is going on here. 
be an air sign for some of you, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Also, it could be another Cancer that you're dealing with. Or maybe this is your energy where you're like, you know what? I'm moving forward with the chariot. I know where I'm going to go. I know what I want to do. And if this person is not on board, then they're just going to get left behind, like basically. And then you have the Justice card here and the Four of Pentacles. So for some of you, this person could be in jail. And maybe you're trying to have a relationship with them while they're locked up. You know, and this is not everyone's story. So, you know, keep in mind, take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But with the justice card here, it could be something very unfair about the situation. And you're trying to get to the bottom of it. And with the four of pentacles, you're still hanging on to this person or they're still hanging on to you. Flip and reverse the roles as need be for your situation. But somebody is still wanting this situation. And I feel like the universe is trying to open your eyes to something here. Because you have the five of cups and you have the tower. So let's backtrack for a minute. Five of Cups, Tower, and the Justice, and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the universe is trying to open your eyes to new, okay? Even if it hasn't presented itself yet, I feel like it will, and you just don't see it, all right? So the universe could be working behind the scenes of your love life, and even though you don't see what's going on yet, um, don't close off your heart chakra to love because something else did not work out, Okay? And just know that it could be a tower situation that comes in. I don't see anything like really drastic here, but it could be that you get into an argument with this person and then you just be like, you know what, I'm done. This was like the, um, like this was the end for you or like this was the last argument you're going to have with this person or this was the straw that broke the camel's back, however you want to put it. But there's something coming here, but right on the opposite side is the ace of cups. So it's like you give up on something else and then you get something new. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.